And what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Predator Hunting Grounds video. Today we're going to talk about update 2.11, I guess. That's how you'd say that. I don't know, 2.11, 2.11. Either way, we have the OWLF operative and we have a paid DLC, um, Dante Beast Mode Jefferson, a.k.a. Um, he's a football player. But we'll get into all that. So this is um, the OWLF operative. He's pretty awesome. Um... I, I, I don't know, like, you know, a lot of people said that he wasn't going to be very good. I think the stamina, movement speed, and gear is really good. The health, you know, I definitely want to make it up with thick skin. I, I put on iron lungs and multitasker. Um, he's got that thermal suit, and he takes the uh, Yaucha damage, you know, resistance. So, um, he's got a primary weapon, the plasma rifle prototype, and a lot of people are uh, comparing it to a halo gun. Which is because whenever you reload, or it's like it's almost like it like overheats, and he does the same animation. It's very similar to Halo, but um, that's what I'm rocking. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, even though the damage isn't very good, uh, close up shots are really. Um, it, I don't know. It, it's it's just a very different gun. So it's definitely um, you know alien tech gun, and I'm rocking it with the submachine gun. Um, you know, frag grenade, med kit. You know, I already know. You know all that stuff. So. Um, and, it, and it does pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's not something I would run every day, but this is a mix-up between, I think, a recon and a scout. Throwing a little bit of maybe, like, you know, because of the thermal suit, the you know, him being mudded up, that's always a good thing. He's kind of like Dutch, so he's very interesting. And uh, we'll go ahead and see some footage of what I'm talking about right here. Come on, motherfucker! You big behemoth piece of fucking. I'm a step in it. Nice, at least still spread. That's a big old boy right there, right there. I saw him big. I see a big old boy. Hey, hey! We'll be fucking shouting about. Okay, so here's the seven dollar uh, paid for DLC. Uh, his name's Dante um, Beast Mode Jefferson. Um, he's modeled off of the football player Marshawn Lynch. I guess that's how you Marshawn Lynch. Yes, and um, he's played for I think um, Seattle, Buffalo, and has all the stats and shit. I'm not gonna get into that anyway. Um, I don't know if he's worth all seven dollars. Um, I don't know. He's pretty good, though. I like him for Clash. That, that's kind of like... See, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little iffy on this update. I think that um, this update gives you two characters that... One would be good for Hunt and Clash, but the guns... Um, I, I don't know. I wouldn't use the Missile Launcher in Hunt. I definitely would use that in Clash. and almost replaces the Grenade Launcher. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it does really well in Clash, actually. It's a one hit. I definitely like using it. This is my Clash class for him. I, I wouldn't really... If I'm going to use him in Hunt, I definitely would use him with an Assault Rifle. But I'll show you some footage right here of what I mean when using him in Clash. Fuck yeah. You see that? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh my. And with this class, see, Dutch, we already know. Um, but 
there's two new things, and this is how I would I would use it if I were to use it. Uh, they give you a secondary right here, and it's pretty much it's it's not a secondary gun. Basically, it gives fire team uh, sensors to be able to sense the predator. Um, you know, and, and I think that's cool. I think that's really awesome. Something that uh, gives fire team that extra edge again. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people aren't gonna like it. A lot of people do. Um, and they give them the uh, EMP mines, and those kind of just basically, I guess, uh, set off the. Uh, predator sensors and it causes them to go into overload and whatnot. So, um, I definitely, if I'm going to use those, this is how I would use it. Um, I would definitely want to just kind of chill and, um, you know, wait around, you know what I'm saying, and kind of watch the predator as I'm doing. See, I have to see him over here, so I'm going to kind of shoot just to get his attention. And he definitely sees me, so I run. He blasts me in the ass right over here. But that's okay, because I want to lure him with this class, you know, you definitely want to come over here, get him to overload, get him next to your buddies, and um, definitely, you know, want to kind of play defense, you know what I mean? So I see that he's all the way at the, you know, top up there trying to do his little disc throws, which is pretty cool. So again, I'm going to want to lure him, stick out of here. There he comes with his, you know, disc. So now I got his attention and get him to come down and say he's not going to do it. I'm going to throw my mine, and again, I'm going to want to, you know, put up my sensor. You don't want to do a lot of sensors. You just want to put one in place. It will kind of cover the entire area, and whenever he jumps down, it'll uh, display it on your mini-map. You'll see here in a second. Which I, I, I can definitely, you know, see that coming in handy, but the reason I'm rocking, um, you know, this gun as a primary weapon is because even in this match I ran out of bullets. <laughs> With that as your secondary, you're going to want to put it into play that you're going to want to have someone on your, you know, other team that's going to have ammo or you're going to want to keep an eye out for ammo crates. You will run out of ammo a lot quicker, only just, you know, using one gun. And like right here, you can kind of just place it anywhere. As long as the predator's around, it immediately will spot them. And and that's just something that's really cool. I, I definitely will probably start using that a lot more. Another thing that they've added is this animation for the classes. It just seems like it's changed depending on what he's you know, wielding, whether it be the axe or the combi stick or the sickle or, you know, I, I think anything at all, really. I mean, I think they have a different, like, stance and, you know, pose for each one, which is something subtle, but I, I like those small details that they, you know, change. And they, they and Ilphonic has done that from time to time. But um, the other thing I wanted to mention, the only thing that, <laughs> and this kind of sucks for Predator players, the only thing that they've added for Predator is they've given him a new perk, and um, I think that perk, I, I haven't, I haven't, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used it. Um, I heard it, it changes the game a little bit, but I think I does something with like Predator damage. Hold on, let me. Down here. Iron side. Take reduced damage from behind while moving or healing or, or doing anything. Okay. So that that does change the game a little bit, but I mean they've really given Fire Team a lot in these past updates. More than they have, I think, the Predator, besides the Predator getting a couple masks here and there, which we've already talked about. All the things that we've talked about in the leagues is, is you know, seemingly coming up. And there's talks about a new Fire Team character that it might be a female um, from the Predators movie, which that would be definitely really cool. I forget her name. Um, I know you guys will correct me down in the comments below, but, uh, you know, I think this update for the game was actually pretty good. They've done a lot for, um, you know, a lot of general fixes and, uh, you know, crashing and just bugs in general. But for content on DLC, um, <laughs> I, 
I mean, I don't know, man. Like, unless if, you know, this Dante character is going to be in the movies or something, or maybe it's just a fun character that they just decided to be like, oh, we're going to do them, take the Mortal Kombat route and add in a DLC character that nobody was going to, you know, think of, and uh, it would be Marshawn Lynch, a.k.a. Dante. <laughs> but, I mean, Dante's pretty useful. I like using him in Hunt with an assault rifle. Um, he's fast. He's agile. He's really actually pretty good. Is he $7 worthy? I mean, I don't know. We're, you know, everyone's tight on money in, in the pandemic. A lot of people could be upset by that. For me, I, I went ahead and bought him, and I, I think I'll be using him in Clash and Hunt, so I'm not too upset about it. You know, um, that Clash class with the, you know, missile launcher, getting to one-shot him, uh, now, I'm not going to say you can rock that class and win you a match, but, you know, I like using explosives in Clash. It's fun, you get funny shots, and you fuck shit up. That's what I'm all about, so it definitely gives me what I wanted in, in that aspect. Um, so, But not to mention, real quick, um, Predator Hunting Grounds, maybe this is just something I've seen at Walmart that was a sale, but it was, they're, it's $10 right now. It's pretty cheap. Which I don't know if that's really going to be good for the future if, if it's already a $10 game or is it just maybe me being kind of, I, I don't know man, I just wanted to go ahead and mention that and uh, see what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, but so far for this update and um, everything like that, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, you know, I am not complaining. Um, I think it's, it's, it's getting a lot better. now. I was wondering, is this the holiday update? That's something I'm not sure about, and a lot of people aren't really talking about. Um, I don't, I don't really think it's the holiday update. I, I hope not. I was really hoping maybe they'd do a snow map. You know, why wouldn't they? It'd be like, you know, the perfect time to do that. But you know, I, I have no idea. Um, if you guys know that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I tried to cover as much as I could. Um, in such short time, I do know that they have fixed a few things with the grenade. Um, I will leave a link to all the things that they have done in the um, description. And um, I think that covers just about everything, you guys. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.